Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to be talking to you about the colors of the rainbow today for art. So we know the colors of the rainbow. We would get lucky enough to see a rainbow, which is one of my favorite things in the world to see. And we're going to talk about why these colors of the rainbow are so important in art. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet too. And indigo's not in there for today, and that's okay because we're going to use Roy G. Biv minus the I. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So I have these six colors. And in the art world, these six colors are found on a very special tool, and they're called a color wheel. So the color wheel is a way that an artist will organize colors to get to know the colors more, uh, more organized in a more organized way, and also to learn how to make new colors. So the color wheel is made with all of these colors, okay? So you may not know this, but colors come in families and the color wheel will show you what families they're in, okay? So here is an example of two color wheels that I made, all right? And these color wheels were made with marker. They both were made with marker, but I did put up here pencil because you can make a color wheel with colored pencil as well. And so I'm gonna show you how to make a color wheel of your own. But before we do that, I would like for you to find an object in your house, gather them up and collect them and take a picture of them for me. They need to have all the colors of the color wheel on them. So remember, the color wheel will have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple too. So when you look around your house, see if you can find six objects, one for each of those colors, okay? And then if you set them up and take a picture of them, you have to set them up in order. So this is what this video is for, is how do we know what order to put them in? Now, yes, you might know the colors of the rainbow, right? And a rainbow goes like this, and it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or violet. But a color wheel is set up in a circle, not in an arch like a rainbow. So the first thing we're going to need to do to make a color wheel is think about it in a circle, all right? So I'm going to take a black marker after you collect all your objects and put them in a circle in order, I'd like you to make a color wheel tool to use at home. So you make a nice, big, beautiful circle. Now you can use markers to do this or crayons or colored pencils. You can even use paint to do this. Paint is actually a really fun way to do it because you can see things happening right before your eyes, okay? So on a color wheel, you will find the first family of colors. The first family of colors are called the primary colors. Red is a primary color. Yellow is a primary color. And blue is a primary color. Did you know that already? And these three colors are primary colors because you cannot make these colors. They're unique and special. Red can't be made, yellow can't be made, and blue can't be made no matter what you do. And for these three colors, they're not in rainbow order, red, yellow and blue, they're in their own group, in their own category, and I call that a color family, and they are the primary colors, okay? So to put your primary colors on your color wheel, you're gonna need to make three circles. I'm gonna make one circle at the top, one circle in the corner, and one more circle in the other corner. So it's gonna look like that, you see? way to know if you put them in the right place is you're going to end up having a beautiful triangle with three perfect circles okay red yellow and blue are going to go in those circles those are your primary colors okay primary colors red so you can just go ahead and color with your primary colors you don't have to do any color mixing to do that because red is just red primary colors can't be made so hopefully you can find a red somewhere. Red crayon, red colored pencil, red marker. Does not matter what you do. Red paint makes it a little bit quicker because you can spread paint with a paintbrush and fill in this circle. Just be careful of your edges. Try to make your color wheel as nice and neat as you can. Check for peekaboos. 
So I have my red one colored in, then I'll color in my yellow one and my blue one, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next three colors. Now the next three colors are not the primary colors and they don't go on this triangle when you make a color wheel. They go in between. So if you're watching, here's my color wheel. One is gonna go here in between those two primaries, see it right there? One's gonna go in between these two primaries right here. And one's going to go in between these two primaries right here. So we're going to end up having six circles on our color wheel, just like that. Now, if you look, these three circles actually can make an upside down triangle. How cool is that? And we're going to make that right now with a dotted line. You're making your very own color wheel tool. So the dotted line is going to make an upside down triangle. Can you see that? and the solid line is making a right side up triangle. So red, yellow, and blue are gonna go here in our primaries. And then these three colors are gonna be a really cool experiment to try to figure out. Your job is to take red, yellow, and blue, which I'm gonna finish right now, and where you're having two colors, you're gonna put them together in this circle. So red's gonna go here, and then mm -hmm. blue's gonna go here. Red's also gonna go over here, and yellow's gonna go here. And then blue's gonna go here, and yellow's gonna go there. And you're gonna mix them together to see what those other colors are. These three colors are called the secondary colors, and they're called that because it takes two colors to make a secondary color, and that's why the color wheel puts them in between, okay? So there is one more circle that you need. This is the big guy in the center. That circle in the middle is a big mystery, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring in my primary colors first. Red, yellow, and blue. And I have a really cool video attached to my Google Classroom for this art project that talks about the primary colors and what happens when they go together. And it's a catchy song, you might like it. I actually really like it, I think it's fun. So red, yellow, and blue. Coloring them in, mm -hmm. filling them in so nicely with no peekaboos. And again, I'm not going to reveal to you what happens when you put these together because I want you to do that. I'm just checking for my peekaboos right now. Sorry, I want to do my best work, right? Even though I'm home, I'm going to do my very best work. There you go, the beginning of a color wheel. Red, yellow, and blue. And those are the what colors? The primary colors. So red and yellow will go together here. Let me know what happens. Blue and yellow will go together here. See how it's in between them? And then blue and red will go together here and give you a brand new, very special and exciting color, okay? If you're using crayons, markers or colored pencils, it's very important that you use the lighter color first and you use a lot of it, especially when you get over to here to my friend yellow. Yellow's super bright and super light. So when you mix yellow and red together, my advice is to use yellow first and only add a little bit of red. You don't need a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what you do. Now remember to take those pictures, see if you can gather objects that are the color of the color wheel. But you gotta finish your color wheel first before you can find out what colors you need. I did give you a hint in the beginning though. Now this is the mystery color and this is the last color you'll wanna figure out. If you were to take red, blue, and yellow, the primary colors, and put them all in the middle here, this is gonna make a very special color and I wonder if you can figure out what it is. I'll give you a hint, it's kind of a yucky color. It's one of my favorite colors to make. So good luck, have a great time making a color wheel. And remember, there's two color families that you'll be making here. The primary colors, they're the colors you can't make, they're all by themselves. And the secondary colors, those are the colors that you can make that are made with two primary colors. Two primary colors and two primary colors. When you're all done, you can cut this out and you'll have this tool forever. 
so that you can remember how to make certain colors. This color wheel is a fun activity to make. Enjoy. Bye.